versus profanity. Ah, uh, thank you, Keaton. Yes, I changed it. I adjusted the adjustments on OBS, and I got it. I'm going to poke myself in the eye with this thing. <laughs> All right. I can barely see the screen. <laughs> All right, I have not uh, yet seen Akir play. All I hear is that he is sick. sick AF. He is sick AF. TBH. And... <laughs> Oh this, no. Is this a hand warmer? <laughs> no, this is oh, live. Oh no. Bro. That's not good. This is. Gamers are live right now. I'd. This game? Nah. I don't have any money. I'm a broke boy. You think expansion makes any money? I'll side bet on my soul. And your soul? Damn. At least you're honest. Just uh, for all the viewers at home, we are not gambling. Uh, we are not, not gambling, by the way. We're talking. We're talking about Pokey Dollars. We all have the new Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. So we are going to trade each other some coin in that game. I did not get that game because it's garbage. Alright, who didn't Dude, play, who didn't pay bracket fee, or uh, menu fee? that uh, one stock lead the entire game because of that unfortunate uh, SD at the very beginning. Uh, this is profanity's game to lose. Look out.
Let me ask an actually good player what they think of this uh, counter pick. Paul, what do you think of this counter pick? <laughs> I know, I was just doing yeah, this might actually be away for just a little bit and uh, we're looking at a potential four stock. Ooh. The JV as prophesized by uh, Dom. Coming to you soon from Expansion Esports, we have $5,000 CRTs. Coming soon. On a, totally, really nice. on a totally unrelated note, we are accepting donations. <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> no, seriously, I didn't even scream for the shoot logo. Mm. We can donate. Definitely, we'll definitely donate if you enjoy our, our content, our tournaments, or if you just feel like being a good person. Or if you don't have any money, um, click that follow. But I've never been a beggar, so do what you want. I've been a beggar. Give us money. <laughs> we want it. I'm shameless. He's at 119. How is he to be stopped? What uh, what percent does up throw kill against pizza? Uh, in this like stage? 205 or higher. It's probably 215 or something. Like that. Yeah. Speaking of which, grab will. Grab could do it then. Yeah, he. Uh, so he could pummel five times or four times. Now up throw. That's. Sh okay, so it kills over 230. Well, it might be stale because he up throw. Can throw stale? No. Oh really? Because there's no knockback on him. Or like there's there's no hitbox. Oh, I didn't know that. That is a that's a very good question though. Can throw stale? No, I don't think so. No. Because throws don't do throws don't have a hitbox. Right, back here we'll take it at 241 <laughs> percent this is where the matchup gets really difficult, um, because one slight lead turns into a massive lead. So if you can't like clean up your stocks quickly and efficiently, kind of like that. Oh, kind of like clean. that. Yeah, this is not a, a matchup where you want to fall by. No, you, because it will be a brutal comeback to the top. I'm like in something like you know, Fox Falco where... Oh yeah, one, two shine spikes and you're back in the game. No, I mean, this is, for all intents and purposes, this is a very floating matchup. Uh. 
I mean, yeah, Marth can do that with every character. Uh, Peach can throw turnips. It is pretty interesting, though, just how important turnips are in this matchup. Marth sucks against projectiles. Uh, it's a reason why Sheik has an easier time with Marth, because Needles are such a good opening in neutral. Proga Police gonna make sure you buy your... Oh, yeah, pay for your bracket fee? You're darn right. What up, Pop? Mr. Pop. Oh, big, big Poblano? Big Pop. Why didn't you come today? Peach sucks on Ludge. It's true. Dude, I hate Peach. Yeah. Ooh. At 184, <laughs> Peach. Or not Peach T. Um, what? Freaking Peach, I meant to say. Um, oh, he actually dies much earlier than I was going to say. I was going to say he has an entire stock. Oh, wow. Like, in that 180. Keaton says, I love Peach almost as much as I love Paul. Yeah, but is that a lot or is that none? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, good! Oh, that is a stitch. That is. He threw it away. It. He said, "I don't need this." Is this gonna be a dead peach? He says, "I'm a big peach fan." Oh, he goes off stage, gets a little. Oh no! Overextends a bit too much. Okay, now I think it's safe to say that Peach really does have an entire stock left over. Yeah, like another hundred or two hundred. Yeah, now she's at that percent Nah, cheese, cheese yes. finds a way. No? Yes, I do actually. Why? I don't have two. I don't have any two dollar bills, unfortunately. Quite scoop him with the uh, back there. Ooh, actually, wow. I really like that air dodge. Yeah, same. This match has been going on for six minutes, Ooh. and they're not really camping each other. <gasps> Is this the comeback for Peach? Oh my God! Oh! Peaches. That's gonna be it. Yep. And we're going on to game four, everybody. I I hear. I hear go back coming from the other side of this wall. Oh, no, I think really? I think they're going back. Oh, cruddy. They're going yeah. back. Yeah, no, true. I mean, this is definitely Peach's best stage in the matchup, I would say. Not by far, but it's pretty good. What do you think, uh, what stage do you think rivals this is kind of big? Personally, Battlefield. I think Battlefield's pretty good at this. But yeah, yeah. FD's pretty good for uh, Marth. And Yoshi's good for Marth. Fountain's pretty even in this matchup. I think Fountain is one of the most even even stages in the game, actually. I think a lot of matchups should start on Fountain. Because Yoshi's is too small for a lot of characters. FD is obviously crappy. And for, so for characters, or for people that don't want to play on Battlefield as a starter, Fountain is almost always the best. I start on Dreamland against Peach. Because they're not going to want to go Battlefield. Well, the Street matchup's not even that bad. Cleans it up. Back he to tips even. it. He tipped his waiter. Tipperino. Ladies and gentlemen, please tip your uh, waiters and waitresses. Please, no, seriously, please tip your waiters. Those people do not make uh, 825 for minimum wage. They make much lower. I think it's like 450 or something. Or lower than that. That seems reasonable in humane. No, but because they're getting tips, it's not bad. Yeah. And it depends on where you work. Oh, that's another stock. Yeah. 
relatively early. No tipper though. Oh, oh my god, he makes it back? Holy schnitzel! That's the tips. That's the... Uh, mm. All right. This has been an incredibly even game. Actually, no, this is actually tit, super close. Tit for tat. Tit for tat. <laughs> Another up air? Nah, tries to clean up that combo with an air, but just misses it. Good falling fair. Oh, double down smash. Double D. Double D! Hi, Double D. <laughs> hey, shout outs to my man, Ed. Dude, bro, right? Shout outs to my other man, Ed. And then my and final then my third final man, man, Eddie. Eddie. I, you know, just recently, I figured that I figured out that Double D means that he has two Ds in his name. Yes. Like, as in Ed oh, with two Ds. That? I didn't know that when I was growing up. I didn't realize. And then once I was old enough to actually understand, I didn't never thought about it. Huh. Yeah. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. Yeah, Evan, you're really dumb. Um, I'm yeah. Joking. I was like, actually not allowed to watch the show growing up. Fun Me facts. too, because my parents heard them say the word stupid. Yeah, and they're no, like, my parents heard the word shut up. Yeah. And they didn't like it. <laughs> I also wasn't allowed to watch um, uh, Hey Arnold, because really? she didn't like how mean the girl was to Arnold, Aww. even though she loved him. <laughs> well, I do think that is a... Move it, football head! Bad, she bad was example really of rude. an abusive relationship. <laughs> yeah. She was very, very rude. And that was also a really sad they show. Have, they should have banned Helga for uh, for toxicity. Oh, they definitely they definitely would have. But um, who do you think who do you think uh, Ed and Eddie main? Double D. Okay. Double D's a Marth main. Okay. So no. no. Double D's the leader, right? No, Double D is the nerd. The dummy? Oh, yeah, Double D's the, the nerd. Uh, he plays Marth. Yeah, that's sure. what I'm saying. He's definitely um, Marth. Their player. leader, their leader plays Falco. Who, Eddie? Ed. Uh, Eddie, yeah, Eddie, Eddie plays yeah, Falco. Short. And then the dumb kid plays DK. DK. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's really important to understand that Plank is actually the best fox main in their city. <laughs> Plank the board? Plank is sick. He's just the best fox main in the city. He's just amazing. And then the girls, the uh, the trailer girls. The canker Wait, sisters, yeah. I Ice Climbers and Puff. Oh, yeah. wow. Ice Climbers, Puff, and Peach. Yeah. Peach, Puff, and Ice Climbers. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah just whichever, whichever order. This is about to be a game five. I don't think so. 110. Let's go, Profanity. You know, no. Let's go, Ross. Oh, that's oh, it! got Shine Spike! <laughs> <laughs> got Veggie Spike. Like oh, what a nair. <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, no. Is this, is this the comeback? Is this not? Still, it's a nice percent. It's Dreamland. He can live forever. Jeez. Oh, look at all these fairs. That's it. F throw, F throw, F throw. He evades these turnips. Oh, wow. That is a game five, everybody. Woo. That is a game five. So you won on Bro, let's go. No, Akira won on, uh, on Yoshi's in Dreamland. Now, if Profanity wins this, that's definitely an upset. Absolutely. Definitely an upset. I think so, personally. Profanity's super good. But Akir has won 12 inches more than once. I don't know about all that, but... Uh, 
Oh, I was just thinking about Rolf. Rolf definitely plays some weird ass, like. Rolf is the. Hello, Ed Boy! This, Hello, Ed Boy! I, I'm the son of a shepherd! He plays Roy. Yes, he does, yep. Rolf plays Roy. He's good. He's actually he's good. so sick. He's actually just stupid good, but he's. Just... He's definitely. In my in my country, Roy is a top what? tier. What? Everyone on our PRs. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone from where he's from. Is yes, and they're all super good. They're all so, they're good. All so sick. All they have is Roy's and Foxes. Johnny Johnny is definitely a Falcon man. Oh hell yeah, yeah Falcon man for sure. Um, there's Kevin. He's like the the bully on the bike. No. Probably. He's a fox player. Yeah, either a fox player or a falco player, I'd say. Um, uh, there's Naz. Uh, she's the girl. She... Naz is the blonde girl. Um, that Kevin is like... I don't know if they're romantically involved or not. They're like, they're like 12, they're so like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, they're just living in a cul-de-sac. Which, fun fact, I, uh, I didn't live in a cul-de-sac growing up, but I lived in a big circle. So the neighborhood was just one big circle. Oh, cool. But there was houses in the middle. And we we had a lot of kids in the neighborhood. We had, like, a lot of crap going up. Hey, while we were talking about our really great Ed and Nettie jokes, um, Akira's up. <laughs> Three stocks Three to stocks one. Three stocks to one. It, you know. Akira, no, I'm going to go out on record saying Akira has four stocks. I mean, who hasn't four stocks? That's, <laughs> yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Well, I think it's going to be hard for him to four-stock him right now. Yeah, it's going to look Due to his lack of four-stocks. Yeah, he could get another stock there. Like, it's like, like a... Dude, thank you, right? Yeah, Kevin is a dual spacey, you're right. Jimmy, ooh, Jimmy... Is Jimmy a puff main? I forget who Jimmy is. Jimmy is the kid with the braces, he's like... Sarah! Sarah! No, he's not a puff main, for sure. He's like a wolf. I feel like he's a box player. <laughs> a, 